I'm Liz from War 103.3. And I'm Chris. Together we are Liz and Chris in the morning on War 103.3. We are your official Christmas music station. We are all Christmas music now through Christmas Day. Actually, a couple days after Christmas. We're going to extend it. Uh, while you are here today, we are giving away Pentatonics concert tickets right back here. Wait, see, there's Dave. Dave is waving underneath the yellow tent. So stop back there for your chance to win Pentatonix tickets. And starting Monday at 7.05, you can win Maroon 5 concert tickets. Special, who's the special guest? Uh, Megan Trainor. Megan Trainor, that's who it is. Uh, so listen at 7.05 Monday for your chance to win those tickets to the radio, Warm 103.3. We are so happy to be here again this year for Light Up York, powered by Shipley Energy. We understand events have been going on all over downtown for the past few hours and members of the community are making their way here to Continental Square for the lighting ceremony in about an hour. Also joining us on stage again this year is Jasper Fair of Fair Interpreting. A Fair Interpreting has been providing sign language interpreting services to businesses throughout central Pennsylvania since 2009. All sign language interpreters provided are nationally certified and registered with the Office of Deaf and Hard of Hearing in Pennsylvania. Their mission is to facilitate equality and communication through professionalism in sign language interpretation. Thank you, Jasper. It's nice to see you again this year. Hello also to everyone watching at home or online via White Rose Community Television. We'd like to mention a few things happening. If you, if you have not yet turned in your scavenger hunt for him, make your way over to the northwest corner of Continental Square and drop that off to Elite Property Management by 5 p.m. We understand there are some prizes involved, and the grand prize is a $100 Visa gift card, which will come in handy for your holiday shopping. If you are taking photos and posting to social media, please be sure to use our official hashtag, which is hashtag LightUpYork. 
right? Hashtag light up your... Several of our event partners are here with uh, information, so be sure to check them out and thank them for supporting this community uh, tradition. Now, did you know that all City of York special events are supported by corporate sponsors, vendor fees, and private donations? No city tax dollars are used for these events. We'd like to especially thank Shipley Energy. A round of applause for Shipley Energy the presenting sponsor this evening for their long-standing support of this community tradition. Warm 103.3 is proud to serve as a media sponsor for Light Up York, and as you know, as I mentioned, we are Central PA's official Christmas music station. Now, speaking of holiday hits, we would like to introduce singer and songwriter Soji, who will now entertain us with some holiday music. Soji! City sidewalks, busy sidewalks, dressed in holiday style. And in the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. Children laughing, people passing, and smile. And every street corner you hear silver bells, silver bells. It's Christmas time in New York City. Singling in the rain. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Ron Benway for coming back to York. Welcome back home, Ron.
It's the most wonderful time of the year With Casino Valley and everyone telling to be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year It's the high, happiest season of all Those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings and friends come to call. It's the happy, happiest season of all. Oh, parties from hosting, girls from toasting, carols singing, snow. There'll be crazy stories and tales of glory.
Just like the ones I used to know With the treetops question And children listen To hear sleigh bells in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card
sound and joy, repeat the sound and joy, repeat, repeat, repeat the sound and And then, then they just sing. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw him, you would even say it was. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never had for Rudolph during any reindeer game. Then one foggy Christmas Eve. Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you got my sleigh tonight? And how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. to us 
co-host Chris. Thank you so much for coming out. Don't forget, there is free hot chocolate over at the Salvation Army truck right there. And another reminder, if you haven't turned in your scavenger hunt form, you only have about 30 minutes remaining in order to be eligible for prizes. And now, we'd like to introduce the White Rose Chorus. Oh, before I do that, I would like to remind you, we're also giving away pentatonics tickets at the Worm 103.3 tent if you'd like to go ahead and get signed up. And now, are you ready now? Okay. Now we'd like to introduce the White Rose Chorus, the York Barbership Harmony Society. Give them a round of applause, guys.
hearts open sleigh, oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh, a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Oh, hey. All right, we have to hear that again. I woke everybody up. Thank you so very much. We are the White Rose Chorus. We are the York, Pennsylvania chapter of the Barbershop Harmony Society. We've been singing in the York area since 1945. Uh, if you would like to come sing with us, uh, look us up on our website, which is whiterosechorus.com. We have a free concert tomorrow at First St. John's Lutheran, and we have our big Christmas concert on December 14th. So go to whiterosechorus.com for more information. Thank you.
Within the course, we have a couple of quartets. One of our quartets is called Sunny Forecast. We'd like to do one for you. Uh, the Night Before Christmas in the style of chopsticks. Oh, now. 
Thank you to the White Rose Chorus. Round of applause for the White Rose Chorus. Are you getting excited? It won't be long now until we flip the switch. Uh, we're kind of waiting for the uh, mayor to get here. Where? Oh, you're here. Give us uh, just a couple of minutes. I didn't even see you. And then we'll continue. But yeah, we'll be lighting the tree up very shortly. So we found the mayor. Now we're just waiting for our next uh, performing group. They're probably here someplace trying to make their way to the stage. So just give us a couple of minutes. I'm Liz from Warm 103.3. Again, thank you for joining us tonight for Light Up York. Um, right now, we are joined on stage by Donald, the official whistle master, I am told. He's going to tell us about another beloved holiday tradition. That wasn't me. I didn't touch it. I was standing right here. Hands up. See? Not me. Not me. What? What me? Okay, there we go. All right, we're back again. As I was saying, the official whistle master is here, and he is going to tell us about another beloved holiday tradition happening later this month.
I'm really not used to talking to live people. Normally I'm talking to a camera, okay? And last year we went live, our fifth live broadcast. I went into 71 countries, over 13 and a million hits. I'm going to drop out. It's okay now? Okay. Uh, this is a hobby of, of mine. Uh, my dad played it for 35 years, and I completed now 30 years on my own. So I've been with it a total of this year with 65 years. I did this for the community of York, and my pay is the comments that come in over the internet. Okay, that's my pay. And it is very neat that some of these comments that come in from around the world, uh, it's very unique. This one lady said, why did you play happy birthday? What does that have to do with Christmas? However, it meant so much to me. She said, how did I know it was her birthday? So I clicked up to see where she was from, some town in China. So York is getting out there. Now, I only play it, okay? There's a lot of th people in the background from York that uh, support this whistle, that a lot of, they don't get any recognition whatsoever. And it's the, on 240, Arch Street, the owner of the building, Bill Hine, he hosts it, and the United Rental Company, they are the ones that bring in the air compressor. It's a 1600 CFM. It's the largest portable air compressor that you can get. They, by the way, they eliminated me just to one practice. Uh, they can't get it soon enough, so I'm only doing one practice. That's a Saturday at noontime before Christmas. The Engineering Society of York, technical and financial support. The Whistle Committee, that's made up of about 10 people within the community for the multi-talented support and maintenance of the Whistle. York County Community Foundation, uh, financial there, that they financial help support the Whistle. Um, the Wi-Fi in the live broadcast over Facebook, that we did for the first time last year, and actually we jumped 20 countries just getting on the Wi-Fi here in York. And then the Central Pennsylvania media uh, that helps broadcast this live. I'm in, a, in the lunchroom of the Mezzo company there, and they fixed it up so nice. If you look at the picture on the, in the newspaper there, I went from a hard hat to a tuxedo. So I updated dated our performance. But I, I have to apologize to you people that have perfect pitch ears because this is not a musical instrument. It is a factory whistle. And it just amazes me that I get music out of it. And it's a lot of fun. I got myself into the Guinness Book for the world's loudest music without amplification from a non-musical instrument. And I think I'm about the only one in central Pennsylvania that's in the, in the Guinness Book. And I had to pay for all that. And I don't make any money off that. Uh, one thing I can't do is I, I can't put that I'm in the Guinness Book on my CD or I would have to pay them royalties. Okay, so this Christmas we're going ahead again, a quarter after 12, live over Facebook.
Okay. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm just so glad to do this for the city of York. Thank you. Once again, we are Liz and Chris from Warm 103.3. We are your official Christmas music station. All Christmas music now through Christmas Day, actually even a couple days beyond Christmas Day. Why am I doing this with my hand? I don't know. At this time, it is my honor to introduce the mayor of the city of York, Mayor Michael Helfrink. Thank you, thank you. Welcome everybody to Light Up York. Thank you all for coming out. I know it's a little chilly, but hopefully the, the cheer will warm you up a little bit here. Uh, I want to start out with the, giving the due thanks uh, for uh, or to Shipley Energy for supporting Light Up Night. Uh, it's their energy and their generous support uh, that helps us do this. Again, one of my favorite things I like to say, without the use of city taxpayer dollars. So they contribute, and we have a whole list of other sponsors that contribute as well, and I'd like to uh, go through and thank the Powder Mill Foundation, Columbia Gas, Elite Property Management, First Energy Foundation, Members First Federal Credit Union, Momentum Solar, Warm 103, thank you Liz, thank you Chris, and CBS 21, the CW Central Pennsylvania and My TV Central Pennsylvania. So this year we're doing something a little bit different for Light Up Night and I'm very excited about this. Um, since time immemorial, all our ancestors, I don't know about all of our ancestors, but as soon as they watched the stars and watched the moon and understood the seasons, people have celebrated this. Before we celebrated Christmas, before we celebrated Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, people celebrated this time of year. And they did it because they knew they were going into a cold season. They were going into a season where they had to count on each other. They had to count on community. So I want to thank you all for being here uh, for this first ever multi-faith, multicultural light up York night and we'll go we'll go into this uh, a little bit more but um, it is my honor to not only be here with our Christmas tree but also um, uh, Christ Church behind us had the living nativity I hope you have all gone over and seen the living living nativity scene representing Christianity here in our community and we have this year for the first time a menorah that is represented and for, for our friends of our Jewish faith. And we also have a crescent and star for our friends of the Islamic faith. And so in the future, thank you. In the future, we have asked um, other folks that, that represent different faiths and cultures in the community uh, to participate in Light Up York. So I hope this builds into a ceremony, a day where we respect all the faiths and all the cultures represented in our community. Thank you. So, got a little bit of time here, so I'm going to put my hat back on because now it's time that I talk about my traditions. So this is one of my traditions. My aunt in Germany made me this hat when I was five years old. And as I grew, it stretched. So I still wear this hat 44 years later and I, at this time of year and I think of my family when I do that and my, and my community when I do that. You know, this time of year it brings me back to, uh, well we know we, when we used to have uh, uh, Santa in the fire truck Everybody remember Santa in the fire truck at the end of end of the uh, Halloween parade, you know, bringing in. So we're we're looking at what we can do to maybe bring that that tradition back. But we have a, uh, you know, we have so many new businesses, and uh, I don't know. How, hopefully, you've seen. Have you seen the trees decorated at the different businesses around? Just absolutely beautiful. Thank you uh, for for purchasing those trees. Each of the businesses individually purchased those trees to help brighten up York. 
So I want to thank all of our, our downtown businesses uh, for adding that as well. Now, oh, okay. Oh, this is a good time. This is what I do best, improv. Oh, no. Oh, right. Improv. <laughs> really? Improv? No, let me just change the pair. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Um, Hold I on. think we can give it back to you guys real quick. Yeah, yeah, All right, we're gonna give it back to Liz and Chris real quick. All right. Come back. Okay, I will. I will not improv. Sorry. I was gonna. I was gonna sing a song for you, but um, we'll, we'll do that and we'll do that in a little bit. But right now, we're, I'm gonna turn it back over to Liz and Chris. Thank you. Leave the improving to the professional. Oh. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for not singing. Uh, <laughs> Before we turn on the lights, we once again have a special poem to commemorate this year's Light Up York. Jazz pianist Matt Wenzel, professional vocalist Joel Folkemer, I knew I was going to mess this name up, Folkemer, and former poet laureate of York, Carla Christopher, also double as the pastoral and worship staff at Union Lutheran Church. They're joining forces with a fusion medley of holiday poetry and jazzy Christmas favorites in a specially produced message of hope for York City. Please welcome them now.
what I'm talking about. Shout it from Old Town. Call out from Fireside. And sing it if you're downtown. Whether you're Locust Street or Historic Newtown, we're all represented tonight here in our hometown. So come, all you faithful, be joyful and triumphant. We're together on this day to sing out the beauty of this place where we live, where we work, where we play, the home that we won't give up on, and the place that our hearts will always stay. We are one voice of peace, and that's why together, remembering Christmas, we can all say, charity here. Goodness gracious. So I want to thank my good friend Carla uh, for her message and uh, thank you Joel from uh, Union Church. So I'd like to take this opportunity today uh, to thank John and Kathy Rhodes of York for donating this year's beautiful tree. Very sadly, Kathy passed away a few weeks ago. Just before Kathy passed, she learned that her wish was granted to have the family's tree be chosen for the honor of sitting at Continental Square this holiday season. We are joined by several members of the Rhodes family this evening, and we all thank you for your donation. Sorry, little edits to the script here. I'm trying to follow. All right, and there are some folks that this could not have happened without, and they work for you every single day, every single night. Folks from the Public Works Department here in the city of York are working for you. So I want to take this opportunity um, to, take, to thank the Public Works Department, led by Director Chaz Green. And I, let's, some cheers for Chaz. I know he's here with lots of family members. It's good we take some time. They're the unsung heroes of our city. And thanks also to Dave Rudolph. Dave Rudolph, who has dedicated his life to the people of the city of York. Dave is always there no matter what our, what our problem is or what our question is. Dave has some kind of information that we need. So... Thank goodness that I have a hotline to Dave because every day I'm calling Dave for something. So thank you, Dave Rudolph, for everything that you do and for bringing us another beautiful, another beautiful tree. 
Big round of applause, Dave Rudolph. He's right over there. I'd also like to thank all of the individuals who donated funds to the City of York through Give Local York back in May. And a reminder that it's coming up again in May. So remember, Give Local. Those funds were earmarked to purchase new decorations for Continental Square. And in just a little while, you will see those new brighter lights illuminating our beautiful city. I also wanted to give one other thank you out to Don, who spoke a little bit earlier. That is one tradition I didn't mention that is one of my favorite traditions. Don Ryan and the steam whistles. Uh, as, as he said, the steam whistle is in the Guinness Book of World uh, Records, and it's a tradition loved throughout the world, really. It's one of the things that a lot of people know us for around Christmas time. You'd be surprised when I'm traveling and meeting people, how many people will bring up the steam whistle. So last year, I got the honor of actually performing a wedding at the steam whistles. That was very exciting, one of the highlights of being mayor. And uh, so if you ever want to uh, join us at quarter after 12 on Christmas morning, uh, and you want to get married, let me know. Not to me, but, you know, to somebody. So with that, at this time, and thank you, Don. I'm not sure where he went. Thank you, Don, for all your dedication. Yeah, Don! At this time, I would like to introduce Rabbi Marshall Claven from the Jewish York Jewish Community Center, who is joining us here tonight as we light a Hanukkah menorah along with our York City Community Christmas tree. Rabbi Claven. What a night, what a night. Greetings of Shalom of salam, of peace. I wish to actually start with words of thanksgiving to God, thanking the Eternal for planting within all of our hearts a receptiveness to inclusivity. For as this night, as this tree, as this crescent, as this menorah, all symbolize is that we dispel the darkness the more we are willing to come together and lend our light to others. In fact, it is that very message that is behind the history of the Hanukkah menorah. This menorah that we will light tonight recalls a time when one man, Matish Yahu, or Mattathias, refused to bend or break or bow under the oppressive actions of the ancient Greeks who had taken control and desecrated the Holy Temple in Jerusalem and suppressed the religious liberty, the freedom of expression of not just the Jewish people living in our ancient land, but of the cultural diversity of every land that they conquered. Now, one man pushing back on the darkness might not accomplish much. But just as the menorah's lights will steadily grow over the course of the eight-day holiday, so too did Matas Yahu's light ignite the dormant flames of others. Soon, more and more average folks, armed with little more than faith in something larger than themselves, did the impossible. They took on this most mighty military force, and they won. This is the real miracle of Hanukkah. When we are willing to generously share our various lights of love and hope with others, then no dark force, no dark force, no matter how strong or how large they may be, can ever stand a chance. So again, I thank God for each and every one of you here tonight, especially our inclusive Mayor Helfrich, for bringing this inclusive message of light this evening, as I share with you then the traditional prayer of Hanukkah. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher ki 
Kedeshanu, but meet for Hotav, Vitsivanu, Lehalikne, Shell Hanuka, Maruhata Adunai, Eloheinu, Melech Haolam. Asa nisim na avoteinu, mayamihim ahem masman Which means, blessed are you, eternal our God, sovereign of the universe who has sanctified us with the commandments, commanding us to kindle the Hanukkah lights. And blessed are you, eternal our God, sovereign of the universe, who performed miracles for our ancestors in those days and at this time. And may you continue to help us perform such miracles today. As we all say together, Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Clavin. It was such, I remember the first time that I hear, heard the story of the menorah and, uh, you know, that it's a symbol of, yes, it's a symbol of Judaism, but it's a symbol of religious freedom throughout the world. And I think that that's, that really touched me when I, when I learned about that. Yeah, let's, we can cheer for that. Religious freedom throughout the world. So, let's see, I'm waiting for some special guests. The special guests are on their way. Who could it be? Who could we be waiting for? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Really? Santa Claus. Santa, 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 Santa. Oh. Yeah. Santa and and who on one of the wonderful new trolleys that you'll be seeing around the city. There is Santa and Mrs. Claus. I think we have another special guest that's going to help us. And we have one more guest with us here. I already mentioned him, Austin. Austin is the grandson from uh, the donors of our tree. Cheer for Austin, come on. And we're all going to get together here, and we're getting ready to flip that switch. Are we ready? Come on, wait. I need Mrs. Claus and Santa up here to help me. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. How are you? Oh, Merry, oh, Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. This is it. This is our big switch. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. Come on over here with me. We're going to need everybody's help as we count down from 10. Wait. Hold, hold on. Wait. Let me start.
job, great job. Isn't that a beautiful sight? What a beautiful, beautiful sight. It's gorgeous. I'll give you a minute to take it all in. And then we're ready, if you're ready, for one of our traditions here, reading A Visit from St. Nicholas. Okay, are we ready, kids? Are we ready? If you know it, I'm going to need some help, or I need some help with this. So if you can help me with the end of each verse, chime in with me here. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in there. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick more rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name now Dasher now Dancer now Prancer and Vixen on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.
All right. Liz and Chris, I think it's time to turn it back over to you. you want to say your final thank yous? Because we already did it. Oh, okay. They already did what they were going to do, so it goes back to me again. Okay, and we already talked about the steam whistle, so again, at 12.15, Christmas morning, open, go out on the porch or open the window or come by in your car out by Arch Street and come and join us for the whistles. It's one of my favorite things in York. So again, that wraps it up. Thank you all for coming out this evening, and I hope you've enjoyed this year's Light Up York. Thank you again to all of our sponsors for making this possible. I'm going to turn the mic... Are you going, going to take it this time? Okay, this time they are going to take it. I'm going to turn the mic back over to Liz and Chris, who will keep you informed on what is coming up next. Happy holidays to all, and good night to everyone. Don't leave yet. We want to honor the family that donated the Christmas tree. We're going to have them stand up here in just a couple of seconds, so hang on for that, okay? And we do understand Santa and Mrs. Claus might be hanging around the area and they're available for selfies. While the William Penn High School Band will provide musical entertainment for us. And a few quick reminders. First Moravian Church of York has their Christmas puts at 6 p.m. Victorian Christmas at Bottom House continues to 6.30 p.m. Christ Lutheran Church is hosting an open house until 7. And then at 7 p.m. St. John's Concert Series will feature the Hershey Handbell Ensemble. Back to me. And a big thanks again to all the sponsors who made this evening possible. As Mayor Helfrich reminded us earlier, no city tax dollars are used for this event. Sponsors make it all possible, so we appreciate you very much. A reminder that Warm 103.3 is your official Christmas music station. We are all Christmas music from now through Christmas Day, actually a couple of days after, too. And remember to listen Monday morning at 7.05 to Liz, where'd she go? Liz and me. For your chance to win Maroon 5 concert tickets, Maroon 5 is coming to Hershey in September. I know it's kind of far off, but they're working ahead these days. And I just went off. Uh-oh. Check, check. Check, 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 check.
Thank you. 